Okay, y'all, today I got to get my Wallow 267, like, uh, motivations in. So, the first one, this man talking about be careful the love you show, because when you get to a certain point, then, um, it'll fall off. No, the fuck it won't. If I get to a certain point, you get packages. If I get to a certain point, you get phone calls. If I get to a certain point, I'm sending you sweet little shit, flowers, all type of shit. If I get to a certain point, I'm still going to show you some fucking love. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I send you a letter. Uh, then there was another one. Oh my God, Green Hill. He make me feel like we old. Put some damn black stuff on your face. What's up, Grant? They put me through the same shit trying to make me feel like I wasn't good enough for my game. Like what I was doing was shit. And I, that's all I remember too. When I go back through the story, I still want to cry right now because I actually knew what I was doing. And they still do that shit to me today. And so it pisses me off when I see that y'all had to. Because if you go back through it the third time, if you go back through the story again, you're going to learn that they were using something to emotionally scar you or traumatize you because you were better than what they thought. And I'm so serious. Like, they know I used to watch you. So anybody that I cared for, anybody that I supported, anybody that I have, anything with, they try to turn down at some point in their life. And me too. So guess what? It's not, it's, it, it wasn't something that was a coincidence. Just remember that. Go back through it and think about it for real. Go back through it and think about how you really felt. Were you that insecure? You probably weren't. Next one. This dude, I love it. This one dude, he on here, he's saying, dude, go, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see the person that really went through the pits of hell and came out okay. They won't let me come out, man. You understand what I'm saying? They don't let some people come out. Then this other dude talking about, uh, so then, okay, y'all, this is the last and final one. This dude, like, well, now they saying this thing about the hood words to tax right off. No, they not. It's the way that he wording the shit. This would be the shit where you be like, this motherfucker might be a stalker. And I'm not playing. I ain't no fucking hater. If it's a tax write off or you in a certain ter tax bracket, it's going to help you pay less taxes. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Like, it's like that shit ain't no bad thing. That's not a bad thing. The reason why you helping, though, is because of experience. You see what I'm saying? That's not a bad thing either. We know you helping because of experience. So even if they say it's a tax write-off, fuck them. That's a smart move. So what I'm saying is, like, you wouldn't know who to help or how to help if you haven't been through it. But if you ain't never really been through nothing and don't know how to help or who to help, then guess what? It's a tax write-off. And you could take it as a fucking, as, as something that's wrong. You get what I'm talking about? Why the fuck would I take that? So that's what I'm saying. Why the fuck would I take some good advice and switch it over? That's all y'all do. That's not be like you listening to a fucking stalker. If y'all start listening to what the fuck they saying and thinking of it as positive, I'm telling you, ain't nobody hating on nobody for real. Y'all keep listening to these old ass pedophiles tell y'all shit. And I'm telling y'all, it'd be the way they say it. She took some water to her room. She took some. I'm in a fucking tiny house. Sometimes I need to get up in the middle of the night, wash my hands, you know what I'm saying? Rub between the crack of my ass, all that shit. I got to wash my fucking hands. Y'all, you know what I'm talking about? I might get up in the middle of the night and want a little cup of coffee or something. You see what I'm talking about? I could just use, I don't be carrying y'all the water cold or hot. I use whatever the fucking just squeeze me out of a cup of fucking coffee. I be using this espresso maker. You see what I'm saying? Hand, this hand press. So it's like, for real, for real, the, the way they do, she be washing her dishes. If it sound like that, you sound like, come at a pot.